Man, it, it sure would help if I, uh, if I had my... Yes, I do want to save Lucky on a character sheet now, so... Yeah, you know that emotional thinking to yourself, man, it, it would really help if I, um... I had my mic down for the streaming Try. that I'm about to do. The song's been playing like 5,000 times Try. on the radio and now it's stuck in my head potentially forever. text my mum uh, about Trial. my hillscape body. I'm here, I'm alive, and although it has been absolutely frogging ages, um, hello and welcome to this week's Banner Saga Hi. stream. This week we are going to be continuing on with the, the our rush down to our brang, where hopefully safety lies. Um, we made some pretty bad decisions last week and I have no doubt they'll continue to affect us uh, this week. Uh, well, not last week, but, you know, a couple of weeks ago. Um, to be honest, it's been enough of ti wow. enough time since I played that I'm a little bit like... Well, what exactly? How it is exactly has happened? But... Wow. Either way, let's do this. Trial. I love that almost entirely flawless transition. So let me turn my game audio up a little bit so you guys can hear it. Okay, once I get in, let me know if that's too loud, too quiet, etc. That seems like it might be a little bit too loud. Mm. Here we go, yeah, there we go. It's um, pretty perfect, I think. What were we even doing? Um. We have low morale, next to no days of supplies, and I'm pretty certain we're going to start losing people. One day I'm going to do a playthrough of this, it's literally as minimalist as possible. I'm not going to take people on, I'm not going to be sympathetic to anyone, we're just heading down. Right, I think we were hoping to get to Boer's Guards. However, we don't have any money to buy anything with, and I can't sell my items, which is annoying. Anyway, let's let's head out, shall we? Oh, it's it's that day. It's that day where my um my my boiler insists that it must yell in the background all the fucking time. A flurry of snowfall seems to come out of nowhere and quickly thickens until you're able to see the man in front of you. You shout out a complete halt, but the screaming winds down the sound. A day passes before the blizzard abates and clansmen start to reappear from the snowdrifts. It quickly becomes apparent that not everybody is where you, 
lost all the men. A quick search of the area is not enough to recover all, all the missing clansmen. Unfortunately, I need clansmen. Slash the clansmen trampled the snow into a boggy slush. After your chance of finding tracks is soon lost, and the caravan so you submits to the solemn failure. Well, I fucked up. Well, it's okay because we don't have any fucking food either. The scout returns with a nearly frozen child. I almost stepped on her in the snow. Looks like she must have been running from something, he says. Patches of blue mottle her pale skin, but her chest rises and falls ever so slightly. Even just carrying a long hood could kill her in a state like this, says a woman. We could be in danger here, points out another. Keep moving for that the healers hand to her. Fight to stay alert for any threat while the caravan moves on. The healers rub the girl's arms and legs under the blanket to no avail. An hour later, one healer approaches you with tears in her eyes. She says nothing, only shakes her head. As we pass steep cliffs, the sprawl of Boersgarth comes into view. A city of contrasting rich and poor, opportunity and gamble. Our best hope for salvation. Listen, we can't get any more fucked up than we already are. Chapter 7, The Slayer and the Slain. <laughs> hey guys, guess what hurts? That's right, it's my body. Finally, you arrive at Burstgard, where the walls stretch for miles in both directions and are littered with the bodies of Dredge, Val, and men. Excuse the mess, shouts a voice from above the gates. Looking up, you spy a spy, spy striking Val, his face wreathed with matted black hair. Movement at the gates catches her eye. Dredge is still banging on the doors without luck. Let us in, you shout. Show me something worth keeping, he shouts, gesturing towards the dredge. You've got to be kidding me, mutters Old Leaf as she knocks an arrow. When they open that gate, there's going to be one more corpse. Right, let's do this, lads. Uh, I think this is pretty good. I'm sorry, Old Leaf, it's just that I prefer Ned to you. I've got all this stuff and I can't, like, afford to level anyone up yet, which is really annoying. Because it all takes uh, morale, which I don't have, because I need it to buy food. Having a separate resources and and leveling would be really nice. Right. Um, I'm gonna move you here. I'm gonna move you over here and you're gonna move here. I'm actually gonna move you this way. Move you this way. Move you this way and you. Oops. You this way. I think that's a relatively good. Right. Ruin that guy's day. Let me do this real quick. Right. That stops us being attacked on the back, which is what I was really worried about. Um, I'm gonna move you here. And then turn. That may have been a mistake. Sure was. Right, now we're going to move you here. Mm, no good, okay. you here. I'm gonna end turn but you're gonna act as a sort of wall. I'm just move you here and you're gonna tag that guy and free up the immediate barrier. I want to move you here. Hit 
clear that guy out. Start on him. Now he is going to cause us trouble. He sure is. Right, you move here. Start ganging up on this guy. Oh, fuck. Well, never mind. Stop doing that, you piece of shit. Nope. Six. Clear that guy out. Let me Turn it down slightly as well, actually, because it's gotten really loud now. Ruin hit stay. Oh, you can afford some more food now. The men just finally noticed what was going on, huh? Then we're either saved or completely screwed. I'm Ro. We've come a long way, some as far as Goga. Are you in charge here? In charge of the governor, I suppose. Listen, if you have something to tell him, say it now. Otherwise, you're on your own. I don't care where you go, but stirring up trouble is probably the only reason you'll see me again. It won't be to talk. Menda, come along. We're going to see the governor. Bork Bolvik leaves with Avent, who goes willingly, saying that he's signalling that he's fine. Fine. It's just like Frostfeller all over again. This is nothing like Frostfeller. The one in Baskin is probably leading the ravens. Ravens? Is that good or bad? Depends on who they're working for. Hopefully it really is a governor and not someone trying to strong arm their way into his seat. I guess we wait for Avon to tell us, if he comes back. I'm not worried about Avon. I'm worried about the army of refugees we brought who don't belong here. You're probably right. Nobody ever, ever uttered a nice thing about Burzgard. So what now? We go to the docks and see what our options are, in case we need to leave quickly. Did you notice the city guards when we came in? What guards? I have a feeling the ravens are all they got left. Something serious went down. And when Bellower gets here, he's going to walk right through this place without even breaking his stride. Let's keep that to ourselves for now. So, the docks. got hiccups. Right. We bought three days of supplies. When you get to the docks your heart sinks. Not a long ship to be seen aside from wrecks. Bodies float in the water. Buildings are trashed and boarded up. What happened here? murmurs Alert. They're all gone, says Avon, approaching alone. I see you had the same thought as me. Avon, you're okay. I'm fine. It wasn't a lie. The governor is here. He's in hiding. Why? 
Since the dread started appearing, anyone with a ship and half wit left long ago. People can't leave by foot. Food is scarce, the markets are bare. Boris guard is a fire cake waiting for someone to tip it over. So the governor's paying the ravens to protect him against his own people. And keep the peace, so to speak. It's more like a massacre any time there's a hint of an uprising. Where does that leave us? I promised him the Mender's protection in Arborang. I don't think he's very popular there. They're going to start tearing this place down to build new ships. We can ride the Yomsa River all the way to the capital. Leaving another perfectly good city behind. How long will it take to build new ships? Hold on, what happens to the people living in Bursgard? It's the best I could do, Alert. We thought it could take as long as a month. You don't usually make strips out of strap lumber. As soon as people figure out what's going on, there's going to be riots in the street. A month? Why bother? Bella will be here within a week, if not sooner. I'm open to suggestions. Can't be damned, is there no end to this? Ivo brought you in frustration, leaving you standing by the docks. Alette gives you a worried look before chasing after him. Ivan, what do we do about Bellower? Ivan says nothing for a moment. I don't know. We are truly and absolutely boned. You find Ivor standing on the city walls, overlooking the fields outside. Dredge are keeping their distance, but continue to gather. I'm okay, Rook. Ivor cuts you off before you can say anything. You know he's been through worse. Just feel like someone should cut us a break every now and then. If we want to be standing a month from now, we're going to have to be prepared. What did you have in mind? First off, I need a clansman, our clansmen need a place to stay. They'll get torn to pieces out on the streets. I'll keep an eye on the dredge up here. If the break through the walls were done for us, we'll have to keep them back. You could always use a hand with that. We need to know who's controlling what and make sure we get our cut. Food's going to become scarce. And when they start building those ships, we're going to have to keep people away. What a damn mess. I'll do what I can. Ivor explains. I'm meeting attacks with Ivan every time the dredge gets you close to the gates. Listen, we're probably going to lose fighters in Val every day like this. I don't need to tell you what happens if nobody's manning this wall. We could always use help. You consider what you want to do now, knowing that any of these tasks will likely take a full day. Dyers, join Ivor in defending walls. Mm, I'm going to start with this. The entire caravan is spread out in the streets where they're attracting attention. We could look for a public house to just alert, like Frostfella. You figure that if you make camp in the open, you could at least keep everyone together. All the people leaving the city recently, there might be abandoned houses we can squat in. I'm gonna look for abandoned houses. Phew. All the people that fled from Burzgard when the dredge arrived, you figured... There must be abandoned houses around. Soon enough, a few turn up, which will keep people out of the weather. They express concerns over safety. A house full of women and children is sure to draw some attention. Assign leaders in charge of each house. I can't be here all the time and tell people you've travelled with you through thick and thin. You help put people in charge of keeping watch over a house, and you arm them with weapons. Hopefully it's enough. Ivor points out the dredge along the wall. There's a lot more of them, and they're getting braver, he says. We lost a fair number of fighters since yesterday. We could use your help if there's nobody left to defend the walls. One of your clansmen from the caravan finds you. Just want to tell you things are fine. People you left in charge are doing a good job. Even stops and reaches and sends off a little warning for anyone else thinking of coming after us. I swear I even saw some of them smiling. He departs, leaving you to worry about other things. We've been a little more aggressive lately, says Ivor. With the numbers going up, they don't take us seriously unless we're taking out two for every one we lose. We're going to start losing people to starvation very soon. Right. I'm going to take Nid out and I'm going to put Alette in. Because I feel like she deserves her day in the sun a little bit. This is pretty strong. Rude. No, you hoe bag. 
see that. you away. Do this. I'm also going to sit in a way that is not covering my mic because that would be super helpful. Okay, that's a start. I'm probably going to lose him, but... Yeah. No? Shit. Wow, that was a complete waste. This is probably a really good way to farm renown, actually. This is bad, so same just either points across the battlefield. Aside from the fact they're up to a neck in dry just stone singer showed up. If we don't deal with it, this wall will come down by the end of the day. Dad, there's a riot at the docks, Alette runs up to you out of breath. You're trying to smash up the boats. When you calm her down, she says the ravens are there, but she's worried that things could out get out of hand. Um. See the riots. When you get down to the docks, it's pandemonium. The few work on the ships now as the ravens stand over the bodies of people with a huge crowd towards an anger. Wolf like sacks are covered in blood. What happened, you shout, pushing your way through the rioters. What did you think would happen? Responds Welberg. I didn't think take them long enough to figure out we were building ships right under their noses, and they can't have one. You gonna lend a hand or just stand around? <sighs> your head tells you that this is very wrong, but you push your foot aside and start taking over to take out visible targets. One falls, then two, three, four. Once they notice, the writers are terrified that any of them could be sniped next and scatter. Nice work, shouts Bolvok. We'll call you next time we've got a riot down here. 
You sit quiet for a long time, just trying to catch your breath. You've killed before, but not like this. We're losing Val rapidly, I have to go fight. It won't be long now. Even the inside only on his staff nearby. There's many of them, we're just laying the inevitable at this point. You catch his eye. Still got to try, you say. Oh. It's true, but we do have to try. Oops, no, I didn't want to do this. Mm, you know what? I'm going to do it. It's worth it for those max hits. And because I can now give him this, which is very good. How do you hear as a sort of strong frontal force? Oh. Get our first kill in. could be making a bad decision, but it is my bad decision. Bugger. Let's get this one off to a quick start. Do him quickly, shouldn't be. Oh, my God, I'm an idiot. Sorry, I got really mixed up there. There you go, Alette. Don't die. Oh, scary. Right, who's... Ivor's gonna die soon and that'll be our, our biggest asset gone and then I will cry at least one tear. Probably many, many more. Right. Be 
getting him out the way. Take him out. Lightning you up. Shit. No, this is not fucking. Right. Move out here. We can do this at least. See who I am. Nice. I guess I've never got a kill with him before. Nice going off, eh? Right. Whoops, sorry, I just accidentally moved my mic up like a fool. Put on something unintelligible. The weight of the situation is crushing. Then... Far in the distance, you hear a horn. Dredge don't use horns, it occurs to you. Even appears at your side just as a long caravan of people come into view, Dredge turning to attack them. Who is that, you ask? It can't be, he says Avon. He runs towards the gate, shouting, You see their bat banner? It's Hakon. As you wonder how they got there, the gates are heaved open and you charge onto the field, clearing a path through Dredge. On the one hand, thank fuck my friends are here. On the other hand, they are going to be well mad at us for leaving them behind. Though my argument is, you didn't want to bring the, the bridge down. We had places to go, and we didn't want to stay and be your cannon folder. That's how I feel about it, at least. I'll move you here. I'll move you this way. I feel like we've got a pretty good, solid lineup like this, actually, in terms of who's where. I think this is a bit better. Because you can get a really good, like, first part kill up. Yeah, and really help with this.
On the one hand, ouch. On the other hand, thank you for bringing yourself into throwing distance. Oops, no. I'm sorry. to you die and also be dead. The big boy is done at least. You can move here. And you can arc lining this guy. basically just like chasing down this guy. And you are going to ruin his day. Pretty succinctly. Hi Farad! Unfortunately, it came along just as we got the very loud bit. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a good day. We are uh, making lots of bad decisions. Juno. I wasn't sure I'd ever see you again, Avent. The smile and embrace. Avent is completely taken aback, as though he doesn't dare believe she's real. I'm sorry I couldn't make it just to get home. I ran into problems. Problems is putting it lightly. There's a mile wide canyon practically spitting the world into you over those hills. We couldn't find a place to cross. Rust, dredge are practically falling out of it like blood from a wound. They're not coming from the north anymore. They're everywhere. We noticed. Glad to see you made it out alive, Ingvar. I take it the others didn't. Hakon becomes quiet, then he motions towards Juno. She got across somehow. Find her out cold for a second time since leaving Strand. We need every axe we can get right now. Bellower is here. Got to be damned, I thought it was free of that menace. I will deal with Bellower. Come on, no need to tempt him by standing out standing out here. Anyway, I am 110% um, percent convinced that I am going to uh, die imminently, but listen, I'm sure it'll be fun. Hakon's caravan enters into the city, fighting off waves of dredge as they go. To your relief, hundreds of skilled warriors are now safely in Boersgard. Hakon joins you on the wall with his personal god you barred, Moga. Behind him, the prince, Ludin, stands alone, looking miserable. I have one last trip to make. I need this one to come with me, he says, pointing to you. I'm sorry, Avent. You must wait for me one last time. Do not let the city fall before I return. It takes everything within Avent's power to hold back, but he does. She turns to you. Brooke, come with me. We'll return in two days, maybe less if you're as quick as you look. Tell anyone who needs to, you need to know. Where? Why? Not far, says Juno. She pauses and something shifts in your vision for just a moment. Oh, uh, I know it's hard, she says, voice filling your head, and you've already been through a lot. But as she speaks again, the rest of the world melts away. But you're needed. You can't find the words to argue. 
I meant to uh, go into Heroes and level up our friends because we've got a lot of tasty things and I've given up on uh, keeping my people alive. You don't remember leaving the city, but here you are, walking to unfamiliar grounds behind Juno. You're alone, aside from hundreds of dredge who are all facing towards an enormous stone up ahead. The hairs on the back of your neck stand up. Okay, hey, this is uh, marginally horrifying. We're at the godstone of Strals. You glanced nervously around, but the dredge didn't seem to hear her. It's okay, you can speak, softly. Is this where you're going to sacrifice me? Juno smiles. What could have come across as profoundly creepy instead looks sincere. No, the dredge cannot see us. To me, more precise, they can see us, but I can convince them to be unconcerned. I can understand your apprehension, though. Who are you? I wish we had time for proper introduction. My name is Juno. I'm on the Mender Council. You've met Avent, my apprentice. How are you doing these things? Controlling minds? I thought Menders built things and healed wounds. You are right. Menders do these things. Some of us still practice the teachings given to the Lo Mother's first creations. We are called Valka. I believe I am the only one who can influence another's mind. Then why not take control of Bellowa? I learned the talent to heal minds, not control them. Though even some Valka have trouble believing this. Taking control of Bellowa... It is the difference between convincing a child to sit still and telling a starving bear to stop being hungry. The truth is, we're barely a match for the Sunder anymore. Our advantage is that we can train more Valka. It is also our weakness. The Valka pass on and lose their knowledge, while the Sunder simply grow older and more powerful. Bellower is both immortal and beyond my influence, to a point. Then how do we stop him? The goddess of secrets will god of secrets will play a part, as will you. What are we doing out here? Do you know of the god's drafts? Few know the stone exists, even amongst those who have lived their whole lives in Borsgard. While Denkler deals in fortune, Strav's taught men the value of trade in a different way. He showed them it has its consequence. Two sides of the same stone. See the silver up in the stone? The gales up here wear away the stone, but the metal remains. We need a piece of the silver. The god Strav's is wreathed by imagery of silver weapons. The myths say he traded those weapons to the gods, and they use them to kill each other. Those who seek out the stone call him the god of trade. The men just call him the god of secrets. He was both. Why are we surrounded by dredge? They seem to be drawn to the godstone. There are many things we don't know about Strauss. Maybe they seem as a patron, or as an attraction they cannot explain. Does Strauss have something to do with that serpent in Einatoft? What was that thing? I cannot say. Can't? I have my suspicions, but until I've had time in the mental libraries, it would be unwise to speculate. For all our knowledge, it seems it always seems as though we know little. Imagine how the rest of us feel. On the contrary, the less people know, the more certain they tend to be. Why did you pick me? Why didn't you take Avond or Hakon? You don't even know me. I can only apologise for putting you in danger. Avent must keep Borsgaard from falling while we are away. And if something goes wrong here, I need to be certain one of us makes it back alive. I saw the thoughts of each person when I arrived at Borsgaard. You were the only one I knew would return. What do you mean? You would find your way back to Alette no matter what. <coughs> Let's get what we need and go. Indeed, you'll need to dislodge at least a fistful of the metal. We will forge it into an arrow to slay Bellowa. Wait, after everything you've told me... Do I make a magic arrow to shoot at Bellowa? That's all it takes? Why didn't you do that a long time ago? Juna gets a faraway look in her eyes. No, that is not all it takes. What I tell you now must not be repeated. The arrow will not kill Bellowa, even were it to strike in his heart. He has no physical weakness, but it will sow doubt in his mind. When it pierces him, I will help him to believe that he is dying. The rest of you will convince him of it with sword and axe. Everyone who fights at your side must believe it to be true. You're going to trick him into thinking he's dead. That is the most insane... He really can't be killed? No, someday he will awaken and realise he's not dead. I imagine he will be quite upset. First, we may must make the arrow, focused on the task at hand. She looks knowingly at the godstone, waiting for you to start climbing. Rook, I'm not certain how the dredge will react when you do this. And behind us is a sudden drop. So be careful. Approaching the back of the stone, you start to climb, looking for a piece of loose silver your vein. Even without looking on, out into the dredge, you can feel each sinister face watching you closely, held back only by Juno's influence. Panic races through your blood. 
Climb higher, where it may be easier to remove. As you climb, you can't help but notice the stony mask of the dredge lined up before the godstone, like worshippers before an idol. Just a glimpse nearly immobilises you. Your hand rests on a piece of silver that comes away easily. The dredge do not react. Look for another piece. While you're here, you can glance quickly around to see if there's any more low-hanging fruit. You're able to pry out another smaller piece of silver ore before your nerves give out. You nimbly descend to where Juno is waiting. Well done, she says. As you walk back through the dredge, their heads turn in unison to follow. The dread that lingers and the shaking in your hands does not subside for hours. <laughs> scary. So scary. You approach the hut gates of Burzgard again, relieved that they're still standing. It looks like they took a beating while you were gone. Alette rushes to your side and throws her arms around you once you've crept through the gates. Judo smiles at the reunion and tells you, Take this time with your daughter. Find a smith who can fashion an arrow from that silver. I have other things to which I must attend, but meet me on the walls when you are done. Right. First thing I'm going to do, though, is level up my people, because that was a fucking gift from the motherfucking gods. Right. I guess we've like combined our parties. <laughs> oh, pardon me for sneezing directly into my mic there. Sorry for that horrible noise. Uh, I have unsneezed. <laughs> Well, I've continued sneezing, but not directly into my mic like an idiot. Ooh, ooh, pardon me. Right, who do I want to level up first? Raven currently has... Okay, Ivor can have that. Makes one feel pretty good about things. Okay, Nish, you can have that. What's that grow? Can I grow? He wants this. Get back to about. Greenstone, I will give to. I think that's Juden, what do you have? You can have that. Everyone apart from Oddleaf has something now. I'm just going to give that to Oddleaf. Have I got any level 2 stuff that I can give to... Um, got this comb for someone who reaches level 3. Who, do, who have I got at the moment who will be going to level 3? Gris and Versi both. Or Eric. Or Hogan or Mogan. Um, in fact, I'm going to level up Rook. I'm going to level up Rook first. Yes, please. Then. Um, I'm going to give you this. What does Mogut currently have? That, right, I'm gonna give him that, so that frees up this, which... Raven currently has. So, one, two, three, four. Rook. 
do like what do you have maybe you can have this Has aggro or more power? Not bad. All this. Five. So the only person who's currently boned is. So I'm actually going to give that to Hogan. And then I'm going to promote Mogan because I'm then going to give him this he can be promoted again uh well let's not quite too hasty now i'm not actually also going to promote avond if i can afford it i cannot i can't promote either at the moment either or hack on favorites moga i can't promote him Uh, do I want to level up Mercy? Don't know, I don't want her. Mm, can't afford her. Mm, I'll level up Eric, I guess. I'm not going to buy any food because we've got more than enough of it, so I'm going to focus on levelling. Right. It takes a while, but you finally find someone willing to craft an arrow for you. He eyes you suspiciously when you show him the silver, but shakes his head and gets started. Alette watches, the smith's fire reflecting on her distant stare. I talked with Avon a long time while you were gone. He told me a lot about Juno. Is she really as powerful as he said? It certainly seems that way. That might be the most luck we've had so far. Bad, I think I know what's going to happen now. An arrow? She's going to make you shoot Bellowa, isn't she? I don't know for sure. Come on, who else is going to do it? Ivor? I, let I know where this is going. You're afraid of me dying. This isn't like before. We can't run this time. That's not what I... Let me do it. What? Why not? Because you think I'll get hurt? What do you do when Bellowa comes straight for the person holding the only thing that can destroy him? Let me speak. Everything's changed. Skoga feels so long ago. I'm not asking because I'm afraid of losing you. I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Let me do it because you know I'm a better shot. I have a better chance of puncturing his armor. We only have one shot. I'm not a child anymore. I'm not some, just some girl. I'm your daughter. I can do this. For once, let me decide what happens to me. <laughs> I know you can do it. Take the arrow. She smiles and takes your hand in hers. We'll survive this. I know we will. You sit by her side silently until the smith finishes his work. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Let's do it, boys. Boy. Do it, lads. There he is. Juno is in the middle of an animated debate as you approach, the arrow in your hand. There is little time left. Bellowa knows that we are here. Whether he's waiting for more of his forces to arrive or simply wants to starve us out first, I cannot tell. But he will not expect a direct attack. Is this a joke? How are we going to do that? I will take a handful of warriors to face him. I can keep a small group hidden from sight. The rest of you will lead the charge from here. With luck, Bellowa will send his armies away from himself to meet you. What about the ravens? They may protest. They will not. I've arranged a task for them. Even if you make it to Bellower, what chance is there of defeating him? We saw what happened to Inatoft. That thing can't be killed. Juno shows him the arrow you had forged from the Godstone Silver. This will make him bleed like the rest of us. Once he is pierced, he will be vulnerable. She looks you in the eyes. We only have one. Do not miss. And bring only those you absolutely need. It will take all my concentration to keep the other dredge from swallowing us up. I cannot join in battle. <laughs> If we kill Bellower, then what? The dredge will just wander away? That is my belief, yes. I can't stay for certain. This is a doomed plan. 
Help us hold out here until the ships are finished. And then what? Belua will hound us up all the way to Abrang, while I am certain more Sandra await. Now is the time to speak to loved ones and the memory of any god that pleases you. Rest. In the morning, we slay asunder. <sighs> I love the music in this game. I'm like, I'm crying, but I'm also in in love with this game a lot. Wow. Well, I think we've done what we can. The silence is what you remember. You rise in silence and walk through empty streets. Upon the wall, two armies stand quietly watching each other. Your footsteps echo on the wooden floorboards as you approach Juno. She breaks the silence. It is time, Juno says. Gather your allies. Today one thing will end and another will begin, and our actions decide on which side... Today one thing will end, another will begin, and our actions will decide on which side we stand. Right. So, I'm going to bring my strongest. I'm going to bring... Actually... Uh, let me think about this. I want to bring Ivor because he's been with us from the start, but I'm actually going to leave Hack on behind because I want him to come on the walls. Same with Ivan, although he is very powerful. I want him to be on the walls helping. I'm going to bring Moga. Oops. I, I'm trying. I just want to move her out. Uh, I'm going to leave Nid and Oddleaf behind to help. I'm going to bring Eric. With the idea being that. We have the strong sort of defending myself and with a focus on the let. I haven't fought with most of these guys in ages, so this will be an adventure. Right. Hi, Fritchie! John. Thank you very much for the host. It is very much appreciated. I hope you're doing well, Fritchie. Hope you're having a good day. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but I'm sure to die imminently. That's that's my, my professional guess. Um. Oh no. Ah. I feel that. I'm so glad that tomorrow is Friday. Like, I'm so ready for this week to be over. Also, because as of today, I now have officially exactly a week until I I don't like that. I'm going to turn my audio down a bit. I suppose now I know why he's called Bellower. These guys like clearing the sides out. So we can focus an attack on Bellower. Plan, but it's my plan. Uh, 
Ni nice going, dude. I see, we have to... Can't do that just yet, right. We have to wear him down first. Piece of shit. and shit. Do not do this thing. Start angling towards. Okay. Can't silver over just yet. Can't attack him just yet, so I'll need to end your turn. after a let, that's all I ask, is that you leave a let alone. Right. Actually. Do this. Because now... Fingers crossed! Did I fuck it up? Did I fuck up? Alert, no. Please help her. Haste, Rook. Finish Bellower now. At least we're fully healed. Stay there to guard the flanks, as it were. We need to come here. Support. Got you here. On him. Fuck him up. Ruin his day. <laughs> Very rude.
God, I'm trying. I feel like it should be Rook having the final blow, but did we do it? And that, no, not her. Where are the menders? Rook, she was beyond their help. Stand up. You're only barely aware of the surrounding chaos. It's dreadfully from Val warriors who push their advantage. Bellower is dead. You are not. We must go. Let me ca carry a letter to Bursgard. We'll honour her properly. Oh no! Juno was right. With Bellower fallen, the dredge flee in the field of battle. You return to Bursgard. But I have no memory of doing so, aside from an image of a let steel body being carried in Ivor's arms. I'm scared that, like, if we hadn't let her take the shot, we would have missed and then we all would have died. And it would have been very bad, but still, not a let. So we should have the time we need to finish the ships. I think you're right. The dredge don't seem interested in us anymore. Since better were failed, they've been going their own way. The ravens are keeping the docks clear. Juno's talking to them about something now. When those long ships are ready, we'll be able to sail all the way to our brang. With luck, before the darkness shows up here. How far south is it spread? I couldn't say. Hopefully not far. We'll get the prince back to his home and Hakon has already decided to come with us. There's not much else to go back to. The two look up as you approach. Rook, it's time. Soon we'll be ready to leave Burstgard. Find somewhere safe. Our ship is done already, at the docks. I had it prepared for a- one ship, rather, is done already at the docks. I had it prepared for a let. Not ready to see this. Come, Rook. It's time to honour your daughter. Boy, howdy, did I cry an IRL tear just there.
that is an incredibly beautiful image, and I, I genuinely did cry. Oh, wow. Shit. Shit, I didn't realise that was it. Let me turn my uh, audio down a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, but the uh, the little skip there. Oh man! Fucking. Fucking hell is uh, is uh, how I feel. Man, I really, really enjoyed that. I'm gonna turn my audio down just a little titch more. That was just. I'm so glad that, like, I stuck with this game. Um. Because, oh boy, oh boy. I, I'm, I'm being quiet because I'm trying to organize my thoughts because I knew I was coming close to the end but I didn't realise how close to the end I was until, like, it ended. And I'm like, huh? Huh? What? I just... I really enjoyed this. Really, really enjoyed it. I, uh... Um... 110%... Uh, get, well, I already have the Banner Saga. I'm 110% playing it next on stream. Um... I'm also being distracted because this is such a good song. Honestly, this is one of the things that I've like, I think I've, um, sorry. One of the things that I think I've, I've been noticing most is just how good the music in this game is. Austin Wintory has done the music for some of my favorite games and I, he's such a good musical composer. Oh, I love it. And I've just, It's just so beautiful. Sorry I keep fucking around with my audio, by the way. Oops. My bad. Okay, well I appear to uh, no longer have audio, so I, I, I hope there's not a song that's supposed to play here because it's definitely not playing. Um... Gosh, I just, man. The honey nut fucking filios, let me tell you. Gosh, gosh, I don't have words. I'm not very good at conveying my thoughts when I'm not expecting to have to convey them. Um, it, it, it's excellent and I love it. Um, Like these Kickstarter backer names, for it's always um, if you're not sure about about names for a character, for a story, or for a tabletop, nick some from a uh, 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 Kickstarter backer name because they've got everyone under the sun. Um, man, seriously though, I'm just slightly very out of it because I just really 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 enjoyed that it's just a lot it was i'm i'm honestly impressed i didn't fuck up as badly as i thought i would in terms of combat i did switch switch the combat over to easy 
pretty early on um just so that i had had a, a better time with it um but i was seriously expecting to to get a uh, well i we got a pretty awful abysmal ending like that was a pretty pretty rough but at the same time you sort of want to think okay but some of my caravan is still alive and we've met up with this really powerful person who is for now at least you know helping us um and we have some good friends and we have a boat and we've got like you know promise for the future it's just that the uh the trade-off is that um everything's fucked and our daughter is dead that was oh, I, I honest to god i'm gonna like come back to that scene because it was so beautiful it reminds me reminds me a lot of the scene at the beginning of chapters or possibly the end of dreamfall it was the beginning of chapters it's the first the one of the very beginning chapter streams where um they put um april into into the boat just like absolutely shatteringly sad um and yeah i feel like i'm preaching to the choir here but i super duper enjoyed this it was really really good um and i'm i'm uh definitely did an IRL tier there um can I I can make it go quicker nice just scroll past all of these not paying attention to if any particularly good ones appear okay I think that's it so Well, seeing as we finished the game, although it is quite early, I am actually, I am actually going to end my stream now early, just because I don't actually have the next game installed yet, and also what I don't so obviously I'm not going to be streaming next week because I'm going to be it just have flown out to Germany so what I don't want to do is start the game now you know like wait for me to install it get it set up start it and then immediately have to take a break because um because I'm I'm not here next week um so I am actually going to end stream off now but I just <sighs> I'm so excited for a complete tonal shift in a week I'll be flying out for TwitchCon, it's very exciting. Um, but uh, wow man, that was, that was really really good, that broke my, my little heart in two. But this series was really, this, this game rather, really, really enjoyed it. Very surprised I didn't run into more issues. Um, <laughs> And yeah, that's it, lads. Um, thank you for watching, everyone. It is very much appreciated. I very much hope that you enjoyed. Um, I will be streaming Mass Effect 3 this Saturday. It's going to be more story. Um, probably some more side quests, possibly some main story. I'm still sort of finding my feet in 3, so... Um, also hopefully this time I don't massively oversleep, oversleep and screw up my sleep schedule real bad like I did uh, last weekend. Um, so yeah, I'm still finding my, my feet in three, but please join me for it. I'm sure it will be fun. Uh, this Sunday will be Seek World Legends, where we will be doing a fin polishing off the side quests in downtown Tokyo and possibly moving on with the story, but I'm going to be focusing on those side quests. Next Tuesday will be Final Fantasy XIV where we will be doing a hatching tide event and uh, then just hanging out and having fun i don't as usual i don't really plan for my final fantasy 14 streams anymore but we'll, we'll 
will be having some fun. Um, next Wednesday, I may, depending on how stressed I am by like going away from work for a week or four days and um, packing and, and getting ready and everything, I may have a quick little like pre TwitchCon stream just uh, sort of hanging out, I'll find a game, get some friends together, we'll hang out, we'll just you know, have fun for a few hours. But that really depends on how I'm doing on Wednesday, so um, I'll announce that in Discord and on Twitter on uh, on Wednesday, seeing how it goes. Um, and yeah, there will be no no stream next Thursday because I will be in Germany, probably crashed in a hotel room, um, because I find travel very tiring as much as I love it. Um, <laughs> so, dope. Right, let's see who's live, who we can who we can host. Um, my favourite stream, untitled broadcast. It doesn't say what they're playing. Um, uh, right. I think I'm just going to let my auto host kick in. It's probably going to wind up hosting um, uh, Play in the Mud, who is a crafter creator streams are very good but we are i'm just gonna let auto host kick in um because a bunch of people are live and i can't decide so let's just do the thing um so yeah i'm sorry for, for stream ending a bit earlier but it just it feels a little bit more sensible to me than like waiting while i install vanasaga 2 and like get it set up and get my settings working and everything and then starting it and then immediately having to like take a two-week break because I'm i'm going away so the week after I come back from Germany, there will be uh, starting the Banner Saga too, so please look forward to it. Also, I won't have to take a break for that one because I'm only going away over the weekend for Easter. I'll be here on the Thursday and on the Tuesday, so I'll only be missing my weekend streams. Uh, although that is also like two weeks of not playing three or Secret World Legends, the, the latter of which not so fussed about, um, but the former of which, by the time I get back to Mass Effect 3, I'm going to have completely forgotten what's going on. I'm really struggling to find my feet in that game. Um, and uh, I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that this is going to make it even worse, but we'll do it. Anyway, take care, everyone. It's enough rambling and, and uh, sh verbal shitposting for me. Have a wonderful evening, everyone. Um, and I will see you guys on Saturday. Let me uh, find my mouse and not lose it in a corner of my screen like I just did.